What's going on guys, Mackenzie Long here. So today we're gonna to be talking about the financial freedom step-by-step -step process by covering these seven money milestones out of the book, How Money Works, Stop Being a Sucker. And we're specifically talking today about emergency funds. So the reason why I love this book and why we're talking about it so much, again, it's called How Money Works, Stop Being a Sucker. If you haven't gotten your book already, you should. You can get it on Amazon. It's anywhere between 17 and 26 bucks. And it's about an hour and a half read and it's jam packed of great information. It's fun to read and it's very, um, very easy to understand where a lot of finance books are not. It's the number one best-selling personal finance book. It's also been on TV hundreds of times. It's been fact-checked by CNBC and some other major companies. So I highly, highly recommend it. If you don't want to buy your own and you would like to be part of our Booked Up Club, you can do that as well. We're giving away over $50,000 in financial literacy resources. And it's not a giveaway contest type thing or a YouTube thing. That's literally something that we are doing out of our home office here in Vegas and something that our team decided that we wanted to do in order to be able to give back. We invested over $50,000 in resources to be able to give away. So if you would like us to send you some resources and a book included in that, then there is a MailChimp link down below that you can click on. For the month of August, we're going to be sending away these books and that way we can get that out to you. We'll give you, we'll send you some emails or either call you if we can't get a hold of you via email. That way we can get the rest of your information to send you these resources. And what I love about the book is no matter where you are, it gives a great layout of figuring out where you are and where you need to go. And today we're specifically be going to be covering number three of the seven money milestones, our emergency fund. Now to me, the best description that I've ever heard of or that I've thought of as far as emergency fund is this is literally the distance from me and my family and the streets. And I know that can sound a little bit extreme, but when you put it into that perspective, you putting a little bit of money away into a emergency fund doesn't feel like a sacrifice at that point. And the crazy part is if you look statistically and you can do any kind of research on Google that you want, there's often studies about people having $400, but the fact is most people are one paycheck away from bankruptcy, one paycheck away from not being able to recover financially. And that is absolutely crazy to me. We live in the most prosperous society in the entire world and people have not figured out how to make an emergency fund and to spend a little bit less money than they make. And maybe the reason why that's so scary to me is because I've lived that way. I know what it's like, I know how it feels. And I remember specifically going through a period of my life, I had gotten my first really good paying job and I was living high on the hog, literally paycheck to paycheck. Now I was doing a great job saving at the same time, but I was putting it into my 401 3B, which is very similar to a 401k. It's just through the government. So I was saving money, but nobody ever told me about an emergency fund. I had never been through something like 2008, 2009 before. I had never experienced anything like that. So I didn't really understand the importance of an emergency fund. And just like all of the topics that we're going to talk about, everything that you're going to learn from this book, you won't understand oftentimes why you're doing it until the storm comes and then you'll understand. And some of you, hopefully not many of you, will have to go through the storm first and then figure out what would have been different had you put these things in place. And I hope it's the first for you. I hope you don't have to experience the storm like I did. So everything that I'm talking about on this channel is specifically in this playlist is things that I have experienced and that I have experienced with my clients and people that I've coached. And part of that is you simply have to learn how to get over your desire of stuff. And the way that that happened for me was when I went through this experience of losing everything everything, you realize how much stuff is actually worth. And you can spend thousands of dollars on a couch and nice stuff around your house. The challenge is when you actually need the money and you try to go sell those things, they're not worth much of anything. And that puts you in a crazy predicament when most people are living paycheck to paycheck and they are That's why it is going to help you. Part of that is 